get it, I understand, it's fine. It's totally understandable feeling an instant connection or attraction to someone or wanting the affection of a partner, I get it, I understand. I wonder what the uncertainty feels like, constantly walking the fine line of infatuation. We seem to give so much care and attention to perfect strangers, actively helping them indulge in their own narcissism. Assembling in masses to fall prey to the beck and call of the people we consider amongst the beautiful, the cool, the interesting. All the attention might be what fuels the insecurity. So many longing to give you some kind of feeling, physical, emotional, mental, anything. You always seem to make the wrong choices. Why are you so afraid of being alone? Never found myself much of a party goer. She echoes compliments in my name, despite the fact I hardly know her accord, the colour yellow, whether sunshine or stain, who cares? Her petal shape in Leo's mane, or gust of gluttered leaves and such. Stuttered speech and awkward stares. She claims her feet are planted, but her roots seem to be hardly here. We long to find ourselves alone to delve deeper into common grounds. Two perfect strangers, the music's loud. I watch her mouth, her speech is wayward. Body language tells a perfect tale of two playful simbas I search for symbols of attraction or a means of lust I crack a joke, she cracks a smile and claims I play too much Laughs again and pats my arm and transitions into a lingered touch I attempt to wow her with amateur philosophy Speaking riddles as if I care about the state of Syria's democracy The news is fickle, people change Life is strange that way We ghost ourselves morning as we lay awake <laughs> I think too far ahead my mind has wandered to the second chance at the first impression I read expressions like a mirror Her voice is new but her face familiar It must be Twitter Distance between us now mirrors the size of the earth we stand on Minutes stand still, still we do not question where the time's gone She said, do you believe in love? I said, does a requiem dream? We crave for the chance to trance in love like hits of opium, see? It's so addictive Karl Marx once said Religion is the so sigh of the oppressed addictive. creature the heart of a heartless world and the soul of soulless conditions, it is the opium of the people. But to Marx I argue, is it religion or love? We know this, ah, uh, this world is small and this we know. We know the same effect on the brain and maybe cause you will. You will power, this world is small and this we know. It's that pleasure of dopamine that causes corruption. Understanding is half the battle, 
whatever that means, it sounded nice, or burdens are for the shoulders strong enough to carry them. Consider that I wanted nothing more than to place the weight of her world on my back. At last, we stand fractions away from an action we've anticipated wholeheartedly from hello. I notice her every detail, the goosebumps on her skin. I proceed with a hug simply to shelter from the wind. I feel her blood pumping through her flesh and envy its presence. I lean in for a kiss, a picturesque moment in frame heart, pumping harmonious fear with every second she stopped me said I didn't catch your name. I said the gardener. She took a sip of her drink for temporary elation. She said, well, my dear, take heart. Someday I will kiss you and you will like it, but not now. So I beg you not to be too impatient. I'm Daisy. <laughs>